what's this? A scene from the airport? Are we really traveling again? Well, not quite. Towards the end of 2019, Samuel, my dad Daniel and I embarked on a trip to South America. Samuel and I traveled across Argentina, Uruguay and Chile over the course of three months and my dad joined us for the first six weeks of that trip. We got back to Canada just before the madness of 2020 began and well, we figured it was high time we started publishing those videos. So here's a bit of travel inspiration which may perhaps turn into a longing for different times not long past. Either way, we hope you'll enjoy these videos. Now let's hop on that flight to Buenos Aires and we'll update you on the plan as soon as we get there. Well, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Argentina! We're back! Once again! <laughs> we just got here, like we just got to our apartment less than an hour ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I ended up crawling right into bed. He fell asleep already. We had, <laughs> yeah. to, he had to wake me up for food. Junk him out of the bed. I was like, know, a, you know, a jack, when, when the mention of food, like a jack in the box, like, pew, you know. Up he went, but yeah. uh, it's a very, very long flight, my friends. Oh, yes. Yeah. From uh, Toronto to Buenos Aires. Now the flight is not uh, straight anymore. Yeah, it, it goes to through Santiago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta get off the plane in Santiago. By the time the plane lands, you get yeah. off the plane, you have to do security, you have to board again. <laughs> you gotta wait for almost two hours to board, and then you take off, and it adds uh, like another three and a half to four hours to the to the flight yeah. time. So basically, we left Toronto at 9.40 p.m. and we yeah. landed in Buenos Aires at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. The, the, the fall, next day. yeah, the fall is beautiful going over the, the, the Andes, Andes mountain range. I slept through it, didn't and, see it. Yeah, going from Toronto to Santiago, it was packed entirely. Yeah. I don't think there was one seat available, but no. then going from Santiago to Buenos Aires, about half capacity. Mm -hmm. And I snuck right to the back of the plane. I had a window view going over the Andes and perfect light. It was amazing. We're looking a little bit tired and sleepy right now, but we are very excited to be here. We just need a little bit of food in our systems. And yep. today we're going to be eating at a restaurant called Los Orientales. It's bolegon style. So that mm. means an old fashioned restaurant with really large portions, perfect for sharing. And this is a restaurant that was recommended to us on our last trip to Argentina, but we just ran out of time to eat everywhere. Oh, wow. So now we're going. We're, we're actually, going. We're, we're walking distance away. We're two yeah. blocks away, yeah. so it works out perfectly. <laughs> it's a place to go eat uh, milanesa con papa fritas. And that's what my dad's been thinking about since we got on the plane. But... Milanesa, <laughs> I need my milanesa. If you come to Argentina and you don't eat milanesa con papa fritas, you're doing something wrong. You, something wrong with you, yeah. okay? So that's gonna be our first yeah meal uh, tonight mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to it. Let's go eat. Lunchtime! Oh. Oh. Good! <laughs> are coming. Da, 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 da. The wine's coming. They said that one Milanesa is big enough for three people. Oh man. But I'm doubting it and I, we're gonna order two because yeah. it's the only meal of the day so might as well don't take chances, right? Someone's feeling hungry. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. I'm hungry. You know? And the bread basket has arrived. I'm gonna... Yeah, we're holding off. Bread. I'm gonna hold off. Once you start eating bread in Argentina with stop. a little bit of butter on it, you cannot stop. <laughs> The bread uh, is amazing here, you know, but the problem is that you eat so much bread that then you fill yourself up and then there is no room for the... Uh, then the main arrives and you don't even eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy! Perfecto. Salud. 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 The wine has arrived. The 
wine is here. We went with one from Bodegas Lopez that we've tried before, the Chateau Vieux. 2009. Yeah, it's a mix of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Pinot Noir. Okay? It's a beauty. Three grapes. Yeah. We're already tasting it and it's oh, amazing. Wonderful. The color is like a brownish, you know, from yeah. the uh, oak uh, yeah. barrels. It's got like a purpley brownish color. Love it. You know what else is here? We got complimentary empanadas. Empanadas. Huh? We got two with ham and cheese, one with beef. And they are so good. They are fully loaded. Show, mm. show the plate, Audrey. Pick it up for a second. I already ate my piece, but These there are mine? you go. Those are mine, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cameraman gets some too. The cameraman is always lost to so, eat. So, so far, a good start, and we have a giant Milanese on the way. Very good. Milanese is coming. Yeah. We have one with uh, french fries and the other one with, uh, what is it, uh, mashed pumpkin. potato? Pum pumpkin mashed potato. Pumpkin mashed potato. Okay. I got a good feeling about this, you know? Yeah. We are tired, it was a long flight. Now we need something to bring our uh, spirits up. <laughs> bring us back to life. We are <laughs> we'll kind do of that. down. You know, after the flying, you, you feel down, you know? So now slowly we are coming back to life, right? Yeah. And it's good to be back in Buenos Aires. It's always good to be in Buenos Aires. Yeah. Beautiful place. Yeah. This is you will not regret it. Take take my word for it. Okay. Oh. Wow. It's spectacular. Little oh. receta. <laughs> so guys, the Milanesas have arrived. This is Look at the this. star of the restaurant, basically. This is the award-winning Milanesa, and it comes fully loaded. This is a bed of french fries. Yes. It has a Russian potato salad on the front. Yeah. Then we got the Milanesa, we got the chicken one. My yeah. dad's having the one with veal. There's ham, melted cheese, tomato slices, eggs, a red it's pepper. Falling, it's falling. It's, it's falling. It's so it big, is, it's falling. It's so big. Use the finger, but I'm not gonna let it go to waste. <laughs> oh my. We need to start digging into this. Like, let's actually start cutting what do you guys think of the, What do you guys think of the classic so far? I always say it. The portions in Argentina and in Uruguay are massive, okay? Where else in the world you're gonna have something like this in front of you? Okay, look at that. It's just, it's just plain scary. <laughs> we're going to war with this one. This is a battle. And we're gonna win it, okay? I guarantee you that much. You need to come very hungry or like with a group yeah. of friends it's, it's, or a big family. It's the expression, go big or go home. Go yeah. big or go home. I mean, the, the thing is that once you start eating, you just cannot stop. Yeah. They are so good, so tasty. Yeah. It's your typical uh, schnitzel. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, veal parmesan, you know? Yeah. Here we call them Milanese. But honest to you, it's all an experience, huh? It's a real experience. Real experience. And the French fries are yeah. fried in lard. Yeah. Okay? Not in oil, lard. They have a taste that is out of this world. So, is it good? Before you come to Argentina, don't forget to pack your pills for the cholesterol. <laughs> and blood pressure Look maybe right too. Yeah. I have my stock at home. <laughs> Guys, we finished the monstrosity. Oh I my think God. we're gonna need either CPR or <laughs> an oxygen tank to be <laughs> able to make it to the house. Long nap. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't even think about walking four blocks right now. I feel like I had three days worth of calories in one meal. It's not a meal. It's a monstrosity. Okay? <laughs> when the guy told us that this this portion was gonna be enough for three people that were hungry. We didn't believe him, you know, we said kind of, we didn't eat all day, 
let's order an extra one. Yeah. And because we promised you that we were going to attack and polish it and demolish and, and win this war, because we went to war with these ones, huh? <laughs> we had to do it. We couldn't go back, right? But let me tell you, <laughs> we overdid it. <laughs> Just a wee bit. Let's see Sam's face behind oh, the camera. Guys. How are you feeling? I feel like I, I gain I gain an extra chin. An extra chin. If I had a, I've had a double chin when I came in here, now I've got a triple chin. Oh my. But yeah, it was worth it. I mean, the food was fantastic. The Milanesas were delicious. It was nice to contrast actually between the Suprema and the Milanesa. They're quite different in, in taste. Both yeah. very classic dishes here in Argentina. And then I have to give a shout out to our friends at Bodegas Lopez. Who we we got to visit their uh, their their bodega right in uh, Mendoza. Yeah, a few months early, ago. A few months ago, and this is a really good really good wine, 2009, nice blend, just overall a great meal. And yeah, it's siesta time, guys. So oh yeah, it's time. We've got to gotta walk back four blocks. That's oh. going to be a challenge. The longest four blocks we've ever walked. Oh my! Let me tell you. That's true. The That's problem. True. They have these two, they have one over me because I cannot sleep the siesta, you know. So now I'm gonna have to go to the apartment and suffer. Suffer? <laughs> while while they, they sleep, you know. Suffer. I'm gonna have to digest like the boa slowly oh, boa. In, the, in the couch. You know? Oh my. Easy does it, but steady, you know. Okay. <laughs> Well, guys, we've been back. resting for a few hours. Well, especially me. I basically, yes. I, I came back and that, uh, you know, sometimes I have a big meal. I call it, it's like a knockout blow. That was uh, in the boxing terminology, that was a TKO, total knockout blow. Oh my. I ended up falling asleep on the couch and he, then on the bench. He just died. I, I, I just couldn't, I got good function. He collapsed. He <laughs> collapsed. My body was just like <laughs> shutting down. You know? He was immediately dead. <laughs> Dead by a Milanesa. Dead by Milanesa. Oh, you know? Yeah, that's not a, not a great start. Huh? That's, that's the name of the movie. Dead by Milanesa. You know? <laughs> yeah, Milanesa one, Sam zero. No, sure. we we ate too much. We have to stop this because we cannot keep it up. You know, like today was yeah. a special uh, event, the first day, yeah. and stuff like that. But we should have. To, Listen to the waiter. The waiter told us he said yeah. that's plenty for three people. Yeah, with three <laughs> we people, got an extra one. Three hundred people, he said. Yeah, and we said, mm, how big could this be? You know, <laughs> and my gosh, oh, oh. it feels like it's still swimming in it's, there. It's still, it's, it's, it's still up here. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 too much. You know, it's right. a it's a, a stress at the body there. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> so let's tell everyone about the price. How much we paid uh, for that fee? It ended up being thirty U.S. dollars for uh -huh. three of us yeah. and yeah. that included complimentary bread complimentary empanadas which were incredible very thickly stuffed yeah we had the giant milanese platter the second milanese platter we had a full bottle of red wine from mm -hmm. 2009 from one of our favorite bodegas bodegas lopez yeah a and vintage uh, a vintage uh, a vintage wine yeah, yeah. it's a nine ten year old wine a really okay. a real nice blend yeah. mm -hmm. and then on top of that they gave us some um, complimentary uh, coffees at the end of the meal yeah, yeah. so, so for doesn't get better than that ten dollars a piece in canada you're lucky to get a hamburger with a couple of french fries you know Maybe, so, maybe it's a, a happy meal on special yeah. at McDonald's. Uh, here it's, uh, it, it, was a, it was a good deal. You know? Yeah, it really was. Yeah, now we will do a tour of the, uh, the house we rented. Yeah, we thought we'd give you guys a little tour. This is yeah. one of the more unique places we've stayed at in Buenos Aires. It's a new mm -hmm. neighborhood. Also, we typically stay in, in uh, kind of high-rise apartments, but this is our first kind of house. We're on the ground mm -hmm. level of a house. Yeah. yeah. And okay. the most interesting feature is is the at the beginning of the door is you were saying it's like four knocks. It's oh, four knocks. Locks. One, two, three, 
Four levels of security. And two more here. And uh, people, is that a people? Oh, no. Keys. Oh, keys. Wow. Oh, my. Keys the people. Oh, that's the people. Yeah. So. It is a safe neighborhood, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is, but it, it's, it's also a strong deterrent from, uh, yeah. from any thief. That... And the nice uh, thing about this place is that uh, it's built like the old fashioned, you know, like, mm -hmm. I mean, in the, the early uh, century there. Yeah. And you find a lot of houses like this in Paris. You yeah. know, those old apartments in Paris with yeah. this really, the doors, they must be at least six, 12, 12 feet tall. You know, what do you think? Look at that one. Oh, it's at least 12. That, that one's 12 feet tall. 12, and sure. that one, look at that one. And the, the, and the, the ceilings maybe even maybe 18, 20 feet. 18 to 20 feet. The, the ceilings feet. really high with chandeliers, yeah. you know, like, I mean, stuff that... They just don't build like that anymore. They don't build anymore. like that anymore. Anywhere. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I love this type of old construction like this. It's solid, you know, like, mm -hmm. I mean, you see the real, the real McCoy here. Yeah. So, so we'll, this is the entry hallway, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the big doors, we're going to go to this uh, kind of a family room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So we have a nice uh, modern TV here. And then yeah. the sofa where oh, I fell asleep. Where you had your nap. Show this is where us. Where I had my nap. Can you reenact huh? for our subscribers? What did it look like? It looked a lot like this. No, there was an arm dangling. Maybe, maybe you were I like was sucking my thumb a bit yes. too. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> and I, 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 I was singing the lullaby. You know? yeah. La la loom, la la loom, and the guy was like, mm -hmm. oh my. <laughs> Oh, and the, the chandeliers are nice here too. Oh, beautiful two chandeliers. chandeliers. Two beautiful ones. Yeah. And you can see how how, uh, how high it's hanging. Yeah. It gives you the sense of height here. And we also turn, uh, turn on the uh, gas uh, uh, heaters here. Yeah. We have a gas fired. Uh, it's like a fireplace without the fireplace, let's say, you know, but it's gas, yeah. uh, gas fed. So because mm -hmm. it's cold now, huh? yeah. it's only five degrees uh, centigrade Celsius. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dining room. Oh, look at that, yeah. indeed. Yeah. It looks like a chair from the uh, Francisco Pizarro, the conquistadors from Spain, you know. You don't see a lot of stuff like that anymore. I think the most interesting thing about this place, I, I've never stayed at anywhere, hotel, Airbnb, guest house, hostel, oh, pets. That, where we have pets. Yeah. Well, no, we've had cats and dogs, but we've never had a fish. A, 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 yeah, a fish tank. An aquarium. An aquarium, basically. And we are responsible for feeding them while we're here. We are. Where's yeah. the food? Once a day. Oh, right over. Once, a day. Once a day. We once have a day. fed them already. Yeah. It's called tropical granules. Yeah. Petrocolor. Ooh. We already okay. fed them, so we tomorrow them. we feed them again. In a way, it's nice to have a little bit of life inside of a house where you don't live in, you know, like you come and we yeah. left uh, Togo at home, we miss him a lot, so yeah, at least, you know, you have a little <laughs> bit of movement, something, you know, <laughs> yes. other than yeah. people, right? Yeah, exactly. So, it's, it's interesting. I think it's, it, it works, you know? Yeah. They're beautiful colors. Very yeah. colorful yeah. fish. So now we go to the bedrooms. Bedrooms. Yes. So, so this, first this up, is our bedroom over here. Yeah. Look at the height of these here. doors. <laughs> 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 huh? Built for giants. Yeah, the, the, other, the other interesting feature about these older homes is that, yeah, there's entrances, various entrances. Yes, yeah, they all open to the courtyard. Yeah. Right. So All this, the rooms do. This opens right to the yeah. yeah to the courtyard to the entrance, which we'll show you in a moment. And then this door opens to to your, to your bedroom. Yeah, there's another bedroom. Huh. But yeah, this is oh, where Sam and I are staying. We have two single beds. I think they're like single and a half. They're quite wide. Yeah, so very nice. spacious, very bright, very comfortable. Little tiger there. The and bedroom? we continue to my dad's. Nice big bed. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, you see, that's my bed, big bed. Yeah. <laughs> we got the heater going because it was really, it was really cold in here. Yeah. Now it's toasty. Yeah, it's good. It feels extremely good. And like uh, we were saying, all these doors they connect with a kind of like a little area oh, yeah, here. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is uh, a lot of the old Spanish houses. They were built like this. All the rooms had access to a. A courtyard interior yeah. yard, you know, with plants and trees and flowers. In, you yeah, know. there's access to everywhere, basically. Yeah. Here we got the washroom. It's a small bathroom, so I'll small. go in. Go in and show it. Hello, world. Hello. Mirror. We've got a sink, toilet, bidet, 
And here is our shower. And that is it, the bathroom. Yeah. Then out the here. Here, kind of like a, you see, like an open, uh, yeah. open space. Yeah. And then, and then uh, just the kitchen. Yeah, basic Ooh. basic kitchen. We've got a coffee machine, microwave, washer. Washer. The, the clothes washer. Yeah. We bought some wine. Machine. We've never oh, had yes. this one before. Oh, yes. This one is... Uh, <laughs> today, we don't have room, yeah. not even for a glass of wine. This one is uh, Clos du Moulin, okay? It's a 2018. We're going to see that... Uh, we'll make, we'll maybe take, take good care of that one. When do you want to sacrifice him? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh my. Tomorrow his time is up. His okay. time's up. We'll give him another another extra night of life in the bottle. <laughs> That's like, it. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. And the kitchen. The kitchen. kitchen it continues through here. Kettle. It's basically all we need. We're gonna all be here for five nights. Yeah. So yeah, we're all set. Yeah. And uh, the, it was a very good price that you found. Oh yes. So yes. I should tell you guys. The original reservation I had, it got cancelled last minute, so then we had to find a new place, like two days before traveling. This one was cheaper. And this place was cheaper, $33 yeah. a night for a house in Almagro. Yeah. I love it. It's got so much classic charm. Yeah. It's very clean. It's very, it has everything you need, good internet. I mean, and not only that, but we always stayed in a Recoleta, which mm -hmm. is the one of the better neighborhoods, if not the best neighborhood if, uh, in Buenos Aires, downtown. Mm -hmm. But here is more like a, a real neighborhood, you know, with yeah. a real activity of a, of a neighborhood. You've got all kinds of stores, fruit stores, bakeries, restaurants, supermarkets. I, I mean, even saw a big clothing store too. Pizzerias, <laughs> clothing. I mean, it's, it's a working neighborhood. We could go to a different bodegón every day. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing the amount of places and the amount of choices you have. We'll finish things off. We're going to sit down on the couch and let you guys know a little bit about the rest of our tentative plans yeah. for our Argentina. Let's talk about yeah. plans, where we're going. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, so we are back on the couch, back where we started this video. Back where I took my nap. Back where you took ago. your nap. La la loom, <laughs> la la loom. <laughs> I'll put him to sleep right back. <laughs> yeah, but we thought we would take a moment to kind of talk about our plans. Nothing yeah. is set in stone because we tend to travel kind of like off the cuff. Yeah. Is that an expression? Yeah, so roughly Aud it. Audrey and I have over three months. Yes. But together, the three of us have a nice six week trip. Six weeks. Six weeks. Well, and now that my dad is retired, he's started traveling with us. And this mm -hmm. is the longest trip you've done with us, no? Yeah. The, the other one was like two weeks, two maybe. Weeks. But mm -hmm. now that I'm, uh, well, retired, I still do things here and there, you know, if the money is good. You can't sit still. You can refuse sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a little bit more free time. And uh, my wife uh, kindly stayed home with uh, Togo. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't stay alone and uh, with my other daughter too. So I was able to free myself and say, okay, I'm going to go visit a little bit of Argentina that I've uh, practically don't uh, know anything about the country, you know, mm -hmm. other than a few places where we used to live, but we never traveled. So taking the, the opportunity now. So yeah. starting off in Buenos Aires, because yeah. it's the most logical place since that's where we flew into. We're going to be spending five days here, just hanging out in the city, visiting some relatives, some of yeah, your cousins. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, we're going we, sailing. We're going <laughs> sailing. Our YouTube subscribers invited us sailing, yeah. this couple. So that's what we're doing it's, it's, it's here. Speaking, it's, speaking of YouTube subscribers, we had, I think, eight people meet us today. Yeah, so that's, that's that was a, awesome. That was a big <laughs> surprise. That was great. Three, three in the airport and, and oh, man. about four or five on the street. So it was unexpected. great. So if you guys, yeah. if you guys see us, um, please come up and say hi. We, uh, yes. we like to talk to you. We talk to everybody. You yeah, know I mean? don't be shy. Yeah. So and then what's confirmed for sure is we're gonna go to the Sierras of Cordoba after. Yeah. So we do that every time we're in Argentina. Yeah. We go to Cordoba because it's where we used to live. We still have friends there. And yeah. the countryside it's just beautiful. There's a lot yeah. of places so, to explore there that we haven't gone yeah. either. Yeah. Then north. North. Salta. Salta. Salta and uh, Jujuy, I think. Potentially. Yeah. Um, yeah. Beautiful part of the country. Well, and so I've you've never got been there either. So your first time. Sam first time. and I have, time. have done it twice, but we're excited to show yeah, my dad around. You've got incredible landscapes. Good up vineyards. There. Good vineyards. Wineries. It's yeah. nice. It's it's warm and dry. And then we are planning to go to Uruguay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our uh, 
brothers across from the the River pond. Plate. <laughs> they call it the pond here. The okay. Pond. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go by boat. So that's yeah. that's booked up for sure. And something else that we're doing differently on this trip is we're actually going to be renting cars along the way. Mm. We've yeah. got one booked for Cordoba, yeah. just because it'll give us better mobility and we can go where we want to, when we yeah. want to, and not be yeah. waiting for the bus. Because in the countryside, yeah. it does not come very often. And some of, some, <laughs> yeah. some of the tours we've been on have been good and others have been rushed in the past. Yeah. And for filming purposes, uh, it just doesn't work when we're with a group and it's like, go, go, go. You know, drive for 40 minutes out yeah. of the van for 15, back in the van. Anyways, yeah. that was a fun first day. We kind yeah. of arrived, we got our bearings, we yeah. unpacked, we had a, a mega meal, mm -hmm. and uh, it's almost time for bed. So, yeah, we're so, gonna uh, get a good rest, a good night's rest. Tomorrow's a new day. We'll take you out for a classic breakfast. Yes. There's another restaurant that we have in mind that does northern food here in the neighborhood. Oh, yes. So Bananas. close. We yeah. walked right by it. Mitas, tamales. That's where we're going to go tomorrow. Yeah, that's where we yeah. want to go. And then we'll find some kind of activity, some kind of sightseeing yeah. in the area. There we might be a little yet. rain, so we'll we'll work around the weather. Yes. Thanks for watching. And this Thanks is just the start of uh, another big series here from Argentina. We we'll yeah. hope you'll stick around and uh, for all the episodes coming up. All right. We'll see all you right. there. To all a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.